and the time is still now. anniversary pastor it doesn't seem like 15 years but this pandemic made it feel a lot lonelier without your church family I thank you for always letting us know how much love you feel from Grand Hill I pray long life and peace upon you but I want you to remember to live love and laugh. Another year has passed. One thing we can say about this year is that we've learned how to be still and know that God is who he is. Happy 15th anniversary. We thank God for his perfect favor on us here at Grand Hill Missionary Baptist Church in sending you to us. It has been a challenging year for all of us, but through God's grace and mercy, we are seeing his shining light. God has always planned the best for his children, but I can truly say that God's power surrounds you when you are spreading his word from above. I'm so thankful that your weekly encouraging words of wisdom coming from God have helped to keep us strong. Thank you for allowing God to minister through you. Thank you for your encouragement to our church family throughout the year. Thank you for your spiritual leadership and guidance to our Sunday school ministry. You are a great pastor, and your hard work and leadership are appreciated. Happy 15th anniversary, and God's blessings to you. Good morning. Please join me, Dr. Gladys Grant, Director of the Education Ministry, as I express words of appreciation on behalf of my team members to one whose leadership is uncompromising, one who believes in our ministry's mission to serve our youth, and through our trust in his calling to lead us, afford me this opportunity to say 
thank you, Clifton N. Witherspoon, our pastor and our friend for the past 15 years of service. Whether it's academia or personal spiritual growth, you are readily available to support. Your untiring willingness to love and serve your people, God's people, have allowed you over these past 15 years to develop a sense of gratitude in spite of the different attitudes and personalities needed to help us make these ministries what God has ordained them to be. And as a result of your prayers for us and confidence in our team, we have reached hundreds of youth and adults alike through the many educational events sponsored inside and outside of the four walls. And so today, we applaud you, kind sir, for your big heart in which you pour out to us year after year and your willingness to be used by God to bless us and to give us hope, even when you disagree with our sometimes traditional way of doing things. Today, like every day, we pray God's continuous richest blessings over your life. May you continue to serve his kingdom as you were preordained to do. And as we move forward in our ministries, alongside our Grand Hill Missionary Baptist Church family, we wish for you many more fruitful years here with us, for there's still much work that God has and will assign our hands to do, while housed here with you on the backside of the mountain. And you must remember Romans 8 and 28 that says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. With kindest regards, from the Education and Scholarship Ministries, we say happy anniversary to you. Here, Missionary Baptist Church and Pastor Witherspoon. This is Brother Herbert Johnson, your Minister of Music, Worship and Arts Department. Just coming to say a few words for our wonderful pastor. I've been here now for six years and I can tell you this is one of the best leaders that you can work for. He's been just genuine brother, friend, and always there to support you never to dictate or harm you or, or any of those things, but he's always there to just push us into greatness and to operate in our gifts. And so for that, we appreciate him, we love him, and wish you a wonderful 15th anniversary. God bless. Good morning, Grand Hill family and friends. On the behalf of the trustee board, Pastor, I want to tell you how much we appreciate, love, and respect you. Pastor, we thank you for your respect and your confidence in us. Last year was pretty rough, but we are praying and continue asking God to bless you and others. We want you to know we are here for you. Your trust in the trustee board is evident that you trusted us to do whatever needed to do, take care of whatever and needed to be done. Today is a day of rejoice and celebration. All the teaching, the mentor, leading, serving, and guiding that you gave us. Thank you and happy anniversary. I believe like success is like like saying beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's that's what success is. And so I, I would say my success is is really what what I care about, and it's caring about other people being 
successful. And so I think one of my greatest successes is being connected with people, you know, that are successful. And and maybe God allowed me to have a hand in that, a purpose in their life. Do you know what today is? The pastor's anniversary. Hey, Pastor Witherspoon, I just want to tell you from Minister Johnson and the Johnson family that we love you. Uh, Keep up the good work on 15 years of outstanding leadership at Grand Hill Missionary Baptist Church on the backside of the mountain where you can get a piece of heaven here on earth. Just keep on fighting. Keep pressing on. We love you, brother. Hope you have another 15 more. Hey, Pastor Witherspoon here. This is Minister Tim. The one you ordained, the one that you gave a chance to. So we thank, I thank God for you, man. I just want to tell you, I love you. You have been a blessing. I just want to congratulate you on your anniversary. I know you got many, many more coming, Lord. And I thank God for you. You have been a blessing not only to me, but my children, my mom, my whole entire family. So we love you. We thank God for you. We thank God for your obedience. We thank God for always pouring into us and always having enough love to give to us. So we thank you, man. You have, you are amazing. You are an amazing guy. So I thank God for you and happy anniversary. And keep pounding. Keep pounding. Stay in the race, brother. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 17 informs us to give double honor to spiritual leaders who handle their duties. This is especially true if they work hard at teaching God's word. Pastor Witherspoon, my good friend, brother, pastor, and spiritual father all in one. On today, myself and the entire Sanders family want to honor and celebrate you as you've had the privilege of pastoring the Grant Hill Missionary Baptist Church for 15 years. I personally want to thank you for all that you've done in instilling me to be the man of God, the pastor that I am today. It is my sincere prayer, Pastor, that as you continue to lead God's people on the backside of the mountain, that as you continue to lead even in the midst of this pandemic, that God will continue to pour into you double for what it is that you pour out to all of God's children Sunday after Sunday. I love you, my brother, and God's many blessings upon you. Hi, Pastor Witherspoon. Just want to say happy 15th anniversary. It's been such a pleasure to serve under you in ministry. I bless God for your anointing. I bless God for your vision. I bless God for your selflessness and always willing to allow us to walk in our purpose. May God continue to bless you with many more. May you continue to shift the kingdom. May you continue to be on purpose because the time is still now. It came to pass. Oh, praise the name of God. That's why I love the scripture when it says that God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he repents. Whatever God has promised, it shall come to pass. And so, therefore, we must get the promises of God and we must get them in our spirit deep down in our soul. And we must believe that God speaks truth. And when he speaks truth, and when he sings out it were his word, it shall not return void. Oh, pray the name of God, it shall accomplish. Good morning. I would like to take a few moments to wish my friend, and my pastor, Pastor Witherspoon, a happy 15th pastoral anniversary. Pastor Witherspoon, you came to us some 15 years ago and since then you have instituted some changes here at Grand Hill that brought on a new way of thinking, a new way of worship, a new way of serving God's people. In doing so, you've changed our culture and you've, in some ways, 
even change the overall mission of our church. So I would like to thank you for the impact that you've made here and look forward to your continuous service. We thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you will continue to do. And as a part of this leadership team, I know that I can confidently speak for others when I say that we look forward to you being here for many, many years to come. I want to express our appreciation for everything you've done. So we ask now that you just continue to look to God to continue to lead you as you lead these, your people, or God's people. Continue to be a blessing to this church. And in doing so, we will do everything that we can to help you and collaborative work with you to continue to serve the people here at Grand Hill and those who extend beyond our four walls. So again, we thank you for your service and we ask to ask that you continue to be blessed and many blessings to both you and your family for many, many years to come. Thank you very much.
to be in whoever you need him to be. Hallelujah. We give him glory and we thank him. We honor him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So be encouraged. We hope you are encouraged this morning. We thank you for tuning in with us. Today our lesson in the Word of God will be coming from John the 16th chapter. And we want to eavesdrop in on uh, the 25th verse where Jesus is talking to his disciples. That's John the 16th chapter, the 25th verse. It says, These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. And at that day he shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out of God. I came forth from the Father, and have come into the world. Again I leave the world, and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lord, now speak thou plainly, and speak of no proverbs. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe that thou came forth from God. And Jesus answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come that ye shall be scattered every man to his own and shall leave me alone and yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace for in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world. All oh, praise the name of God. Praise the name of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you so very much for this time. For this is the day that you have made. And we're going to rejoice in it. We thank you for being our God. We thank you for being our Savior. We thank you for being our Creator. We know that you have all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So now we ask that you allow us to touch the very hand of your God, release your wisdom, your knowledge, and with all our giving, allow us to give understanding. If you lead us, we'll be led, and if you feed us, we'll be fed. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of God. We want to talk this morning from the subject that we shall overcome. We shall overcome. Praise the name of God. And I know that that is a term and a subject that we have heard all of our life. If we are at least over 50 years old, we've heard the songs. We have, some of us have even marched in marches. We hold hand in hand. And we have protested with this song, We Shall Overcome. But I was always wondering where did this song, or where did this term come from? And as we were studying and just looking at some of the things that are going on in the world, God allowed me to go back to the conversation that Jesus was having with his disciples. And Jesus 
knew exactly why he came into this world. He came to save the world. And he knew how he was going to do that. And the way that God was going to save the world, the way that Jesus was going to save the world, was going to go against every uh, thought pattern, every understanding that man ever had. Even though there were many scholars and those that studied the Word of God in the Old Testament and the Torah, hmm, still not understanding that Jesus was not going to come as the lion, but he was going to come as the lamb. And even with him walking with the disciples and the disciples walking with him and seeing all the things that Jesus were doing, the miracles that he were performing, the healings that were taking place, the casting out of evil spirits, and even feeding the hungry on the backside of the mountain. The disciples still did not understand how Jesus was going to save the world. In this conversation that he's having with his disciples, there were many times that he had talked to them in Proverbs and in parables, which many of the times the, the understanding was still not clear from those that Jesus would teach him. In this conversation, he told them, he said, I have talked to you in parables many times. And this was a time that the disciples even asked him, listen, Jesus, make it plain. Make it plain that we might understand what is going on and what is going to happen in your life and what is going to happen in our life. And the very interesting thing that Jesus said to them is he said that you are going to deal with tribulation in this world. That's what he said. He said you're going to deal with tribulation in this world. But he said be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Praise the name of God. And that doesn't even really sound sound. <laughs> it doesn't even uh, uh, touch the, a person that is standing in front of you, listening to you, tell them that they're going to have trouble. How do you tell somebody that they're going to go through trouble and you want them to be happy? Come on, somebody need to help me with this one. <laughs> How is someone going to tell you that you're going to go through trouble and want you to be happy while you go through it? Oh, praise the name of God. Because this is what Jesus said. He said, listen, you're going to go through tribulations and I want you to be a good chair. I want you to be happy. I want you to have joy in your life. <laughs> and, uh, while you're going through the tribulation and and I need you to understand the reason why is because uh, you're in the world, but I have overcome the world. And so when we sing the song, we shall overcome, I, I, I believe that our faith is going toward the fact that our Savior has overcome the world. And if he has overcome, then that also make us overcomers. All oh, praise the name of God. Uh, it, it, it makes us, uh, it puts us in a place that uh, if our protector, if our creator, praise the name of God, has gone through the very thing that we must suffer and we must go through, and he has come out on the other side victoriously, then that means that if we tap into his divine power, uh, that we are also uh, winners in our own right. Uh, we are also uh, victorious 
in our life. Yeah, it does not, 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 it's not what it looks like now. It's not what it looks like because this whole thing that we are preaching, this whole gospel that we are speaking about, it, it, it is all contingent upon the word faith. Uh, and faith is the substance of things hoped for, but is the evidence of things not seen. So now that means that you are not going to see everything that, that you believe. Uh, and you are not going to see everything that you have studied. Praise the name of God. You're not just going to see it manifest in your life. Uh, uh, there's a time, there's a place, and there's a condition when things will show up. Until that time, until that place, until the right condition, uh, we must keep the faith. And, and we must say what our Savior has said to us. Uh, and he said that he has overcome the world. So then that means that whatever is going on in this world, praise the name of God, uh, the very things that have you troubled in your spirit, uh, we must come to a place that where we are in the mindset that even though we, we it doesn't look fair, even though it's not fair, even though we know that things are being done wrong uh, toward us uh, in our life. Uh, we must understand that when it's all said and done, we shall overcome. I uh, praise the name of God. Now I need you to understand the generation that we're living in now, listen, this is not the generation of old. Our overcoming in a generation of old was that we are going to die one day and we're going to go to heaven and we're going to overcome. But I need you to understand that some things that we are talking about overcoming these days, we're not waiting to get to heaven to overcome. There are going to be some things we are going to overcome right here on earth. And we are going to stop using the scripture to keep us bound. But we are going to start using this word of God to free us. And we must free ourselves first in our mind. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, and we must be able to look at the enemy in his face and say, not so. You are not going to continue to run over us. Uh, you are not going to continue to be unfair. Uh, praise the name of God. You are not going to continue to take from us. Uh, uh, we are not going to sit back and continue to beg you to do the right thing. Oh, praise the name of God. The church itself needs to stand up. And I don't care what denomination you are. I don't care what color you are. If you are a believer, you need to start standing up and standing together. And we need to do this thing together. If people can come together and put a, a, a riot together, why is the church sitting back and nobody saying it? We better stop waiting for the devil to do the right thing. Uh, it's time to stand up uh, and fight for our very rights. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, there's too much things going on in this world, and I'm not going to be looking the other way. Oh, praise the name of God. Uh, I got too many young people going to jail while other people are walking free. Uh, I got too many young people dying when other people are living for the same thing. Uh, oh, we better start counting. Uh, accountability must be given. Uh, hallelujah. Today, hallelujah, we shall overcome. I'll uh, uh, pray the name of God. Uh, if the courts are not doing it right, uh, if the lawyers are not doing it right, uh, if the judges are not doing it right, uh, if the politicians are not doing it right, we need to start holding them accountable. I'll uh, pray the name of God. Uh, Stand in the authority of God. Huh? And he has given us the ability, I uh, pray the name of God, to see what is wicked and what is righteous. I uh, pray the name of God. The time is not now that we stand back uh, and we put our heads down and stick our heads in the sand. Huh? 
Oh, praise the name of God. Huh. Now is the time. Huh. Uh, now is the time huh, that we must stand up. Huh. And if Jesus huh, has gone to the cross, huh, praise the name of God. If you believe this now, that he's gone to the cross, huh, but not only gone to the cross, huh, he's gone to the grave. Huh. Praise the name of God. And then the grave could not hold him. Huh. Death could not kill him. Huh. And now he lives again. Huh. He said the only reason that I am going away is that I can send the Spirit of God, huh, which we will call the Comforter, which we will call the Holy Ghost. Huh, and he will come and lead you into all truth. Huh. We did not receive the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit huh, that we must sit back huh, and be a doormat. Huh. We did not receive the power that God has given us huh, and we not use it. Huh. Oh, praise the name of God. Huh. If God has given us the power to heal, huh, then we ought to start healing. Huh. I'm not seeing anybody walking around laying hands on nobody. Huh. Everybody is staying in distance. Huh. Oh, praise Y'all gonna check that out the while. Y'all gonna check that out the while. Everybody staying a distance away. How can you? Oh, well, listen. Don't even worry about touching and laying hands on them. Can you not just send the word? Oh, praise the name of God. Didn't Jesus just send the word? Praise the name of God. And the word changed things immediately. And we're sitting around as believers. Talking like CNN is talking. Talking like the world is talking. What makes you think is going to change anything in the atmosphere? Why need you understand? The atmosphere is already changing. It's been changing a while ago. Praise the name of God. We preached about a paradigm shift. Uh, and now the paradigm shift is taking place. And I need you to understand we are going through a shaking. Praise the name of God. And that's what was happening. We're being shaken. Praise the name of God. And God want to know where his believers are at. God want to know if we're going to stand up or we're just going to be shaken. But I need to understand the shaking is not the last thing that's going to happen. There's about to be a sifting. Oh, praise the name of God. Praise the name of God. And listen, I'm listening to my pastor right now. He's preaching about staying woke. Praise the name of God. Huh. And I need you to understand you can go back to 2020, uh, March the 8th. Huh. Uh, God spoke that same thing. Stay woke. Huh. There is no time to be sleep now. Huh. We as believers need to see what's going on. Huh. And some of us see it right in our face. Huh. Oh, praise the name of God. Huh. This week just passed, you saw it right in your face. Huh. And if the church is not going to stand up, huh, and when I'm talking about the church, I'm talking about the universal church. Huh. I'm talking about those that have the mind of Christ. Huh. So that goes beyond your title. Huh. That goes beyond your uh, uh, denominations of churches. Huh. That goes beyond your culture. Huh. That goes beyond your color. Huh. Oh, praise the name of God. I say the church need to stand up. Huh? And if we can't come together as believers and as leaders and as pastors, and I need to tell you something, huh? one of the problems is huh? nobody want to humble themselves. Huh? Everybody got to be the big dog. Huh? Everybody got to be in charge. Huh? Pray in the name of God. Huh? And the ones that want to be in charge, huh? you're not saying anything. Huh? Pray in the name of God. Huh? Listen, we are supposed to preach huh? until the heaven opens up. Huh? Oh, pray in the name of God. We are down here on earth huh? still talking about foolishness huh? and stuff about how to be saved huh? and about salvation huh? and whether God loves us or not. Huh? And then we got some of us. Huh? We telling everybody huh? that everything gonna be all right. Huh? And you got you preaching prosperity huh? and you, there's nothing wrong with heaven. Huh? But I need to understand God has called us huh? to call us out. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Call us out to what he has called us to do. Well, what is that? What is that? He's called us to overcome. 
the very tribulations. When are you going to what? Did he say you're going to stay in the tribulation? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're not going to stay there. You're going to go through it. Praise the name of God. Tribulations are in this world. This world is full of tribulations. This world is full of trials. This world is full of sin. Praise the name of God. And where there's sin, there's going to always be trials and tribulations. Praise the name of God. But we are not to stay there. Praise God. Uh, that's what the Bible says. Shall we sin that grace may abound? Uh, God forbid. Uh, so when you see something uh, that is not right, listen, laws have to be changed. And if laws are not changed, uh, we need to move the politicians that we voted for so that they might change the law. Praise the name of God. If they're not changing the laws, that need to be changed, we need to vote them out. Praise the name of God. Uh, listen, I understand the lobbyists bringing money and things of that sort, but let me tell you, once you can start putting price over principles, that just make you a prostitute. Praise the name of God. And we need to save the prostitute. <laughs> oh, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Jesus even taught to a prostitute. Uh, praise the name. It was a prostitute that saved Israel. Uh, praise the name of God. Uh, and allowed them to be able to come into the land uh, and spy it out without being hurt. Uh, and I came out to tell you, we shall overcome. Uh, but the reason we're going to overcome, uh, because we are now about to overcome the old mindset. Uh, we're about to overcome the old tradition. Uh, we about to overcome the old rituals. Uh, we about to overcome, uh, hallelujah, the very things uh, that we grew up on. Uh, because I need to understand there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, everything that has been will be. Uh, and if we continue doing what we've been doing, uh, we're going to get the same results. Uh, but if you want to change the results, uh, you got to change what you're doing. Uh, Hallelujah. Ain't nothing wrong with having faith. Uh, and ain't nothing wrong with praying to God. Uh, but I came by to tell you uh, that you can have all the faith you want. Uh, and you can pray all you want. Uh, but until we get out uh, into those streets, uh, until we get out into the planning sessions, uh, until we get out uh, into the courtrooms, uh, until we get out uh, in all of these places, uh, hallelujah, and come together, uh, hallelujah, and begin to hold people accountable, uh, all praise the name of God, uh, ain't nothing going to change, uh, and we got to do it, uh, I'm just a voice uh, speaking in the wilderness, uh, and I just came by to tell you, uh, hallelujah, I know what I'm talking about, uh, and many of you know what I'm talking about, uh, why? Uh, because when you look back over your life, uh, you already know what God has brought you through. Uh, some of those things, some of these things you will see in, uh, this is not the first time you've seen it. Uh, hallelujah, some of this injustice, uh, you've been living through it all your life. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, some of you have been living through it so long uh, that you then became numb to it. Uh, and you just begin to protect your own family uh, and your own friends. Uh, you back up and say, well, uh, this is how we got to fall in order. Uh, we begin to tell our kids uh, what they can do and not do, uh, even when what they're doing is not wrong. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, well, I came by to tell you, uh, when we got the Spirit of God, uh, the Spirit of God is liberty, uh, which means we ought to have some freedom in this world. Uh, I ought to be able to go where I want to go uh, and do what I want to do. Uh, say what I want to say uh, as long as I'm not bringing harm uh, to anyone else. Uh, oh, praise the name of God. Uh, you better hear what I'm saying. Uh, and we got to uh, uh, stand up now uh, and see what God is saying. Uh, pray in the name of God. Uh, 
you better understand that the kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. And the kingdom survives. But we better take it by force. I pray in the name of God. And many of you have gone through things. And yet you overcome. Hallelujah. I know what I'm talking about. Many of us start saying, well, when 2021 comes, pray in the name of God. Things are going to be different. Well, I came by to tell you. 2021 is just a date. The first of the new year was just a date. You could have made up your mind. We could have made up our mind. June the first last year. We could have made up our mind. August the 25th last year. We could have made up our mind. In April the 3rd last year. Y'all don't hear me. Anytime you decide to make up your mind that there's going to be a change, a change shall come. Oh, pray in the name of God. We wait until the first of the year. Like the first of the year is going to change the atmosphere. It was just a day. I woke up uh, on the first. It was raining and cold. Just like it was on the 31st. The same problems in my life were still right there. The people that were sick were still sick. The people that were going through troubles were still going through troubles. Hallelujah. Those that had it going on still had it going on. Hallelujah. Those that were walking in God were still walking in God. Hallelujah. But I need you to understand that we shall overcome. And just in case you don't believe me, pray in the name of God. Just look back over your life and see where God has brought you from. Because I don't have to look that far. Pray in the name of God. Last year, many of you overcame some things that you didn't know how you were going to come out. I saw the enemy trying to take me out. I overcame. I overcame my daddy down. I overcame my mama down. I overcame my best friend down. I overcame money being funny and chain being strange. I overcame. Holly, I overcame death. I overcame sicknesses. Oh, pray in the name of God. I saw what you had to overcome. And God brought you out. And now you are overcoming. Just like the Sunday school lesson say, we better be focused and focus on overcoming. Why are you saying that? Because I need you to understand, no matter what you overcome, there's some things going to be put in front of you, and you better be in the right mind, hallelujah, that you will overcome these things. I already know who you are. You just better know who you are. For the Bible says, who is man that thou art so mindful of him? You make him a little lower than the angel, but yet whatever he set his hands to, it begins to prosper. Oh, pray in the name of God. Don't you know that you got the power? Don't you know that God has given you the authority? You can say it right now. I shall overcome. We shall overcome. Oh, pray in the name of God. Well, hallelujah. And I need you to know something. Let me give you a secret. You can't do it all at once. Oh, pray in the name of God. But you need to at least get your mind right and say, we are going to overcome. You better start cutting this foolishness out. There's ministry that must be done. We better start working together. We better start communicating. We better keep loving. Because if not, the church is going to die. The ministry is going to die. The kingdom is going to crumble. I pray in the name of God. God has given us too much gifts. He's given us too much talent for us to sit back and just die and just do what the world do. God said it's time for us to overcome. I am a overcomer and it's not going to all be done at once. But I came by to tell one day at a time, one day at a time, one day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's 
all I'm asking of you. Hallelujah. Give me the strength, oh Lord, to do what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. But hallelujah, all I'm asking you is to give me one day at a time. Hallelujah. Anybody want to say one day at a time? Somebody say one day at a time. Somebody say, sweet Jesus, one day at a time. Hallelujah. Anybody got it yet? Anybody got it yet? If you got it already, now tell them we shall overcome. We shall overcome. Ah, a change is going to come and it's going to start from the new army that's rising up. I see you out there. I see you. You got it all on. You got your armor on. You put it up. You're loaded with truth. Shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel. I see you with the seal of faith. I see you with the heaven of salvation. I see you with the sword, which is the word of God. We better start speaking like them. We better start talking like them. For death and life will need the power of the tongue. And I came by to tell you, we shall overcome. Praise the Lord. We shall overcome. Everybody believe that this morning. Maybe you're overcoming right now. Hallelujah. We have to change our school of thoughts. We have to change our mindset. We have to change our disciplines. I'll praise the name of God. The way we have been thinking. We shall overcome. And we're going to overcome through Christ Jesus. This morning. If you don't know him as your savior. Make this morning. The morning. That you start overcoming. Praise the name of God. Because you're going to be able to do it through. Christ's power and Jesus' authority. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to come this morning, you won't make him your Savior, the Lord of your life. Pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we believe in you. We confess with our mind and we believe in our heart that you are Lord. And we thank you for giving your life that we may have life in heaven more abundant. Amen. Listen, if you have prayed that prayer with me, with us this morning, just know that God still sits high and he looks low. And he still has all power in his hand. Find your Bible-based church, Bible-based ministry. And as always, I say God will send someone your way to help sharpen you, to help strengthen you, to help encourage you in your new walk as a believer. And remember, we shall overcome. Peace and blessings. Until next time.
Thank you for joining us today during the Grant Hill Missionary Baptist Church online worship experience. The service would not be a success without your prayers and support. If you would like to give to our ministry, please visit granthillbaptist.org forward slash donate to view our multiple giving options. We invite you to visit our website at granthillbaptist.org for inspiration, motivation, and more. Stay connected and Christ-centered with us 24-7 through our social media platforms, and be sure to sign up at our website to receive updates, announcements, and more. Be sure to join us next week for another powerful praise and worship experience right here at Grant Hill, all to the glory of God. Thank you for your prayers and support, and may God continue to richly bless you.